Hello everyone and welcome back to another math video by Jake by Jake the Tutor <laughs> and as I said before in the previous video we're going to move on to horizontal transformations of a of a function or equation so I've put another uh, xy coordinate system here I'm going to label the axes real quick and we're going to start us out once again with I'm going to give us the function f of x is equal to 2x so I guess I better start by plotting this here on our handy dandy coordinate system it's going to look something something like this now I'm going to stretch it in this direction that looks good alright so there is f of x so now like I said we're going to focus on horizontal transform transformations now and uh, we, so we think about this for a little bit and we say well we can't really um, just add it like add some number or subtract some number to this equation to shift it left or right like directly because we do know that from the previous video that to shift something vertically you just add a number to the end of this and in our case adding a number to the end of this will actually shift it left or right depending on just how you look at it um, but we're going to learn how to do this in a more say uh, direct or more deliberate way um, so we're not going to just add something to it although we will find that that's kinda what you end up doing anyway so let's say we want to move this graph say to the right uh, three units so it's going to cross this point right about here and this is x equals three so if we put a line here of the same slope so it's going to look exactly the same let's make this line blue it's going to cross this point on the x-axis and I'm going to try to make that a little bit better to where it hits more here instead of off somewhere else okay same slope is going to have a slope of two so for every unit you move to the right you have to move two units up so the line will look something like this I'm going to go ahead and stretch it in this direction as well. If I can get this to cross our point, then that would be great. Alright, so this is pretty close. We're going to call this one g of x. And what we're going to do now is find the equation of this line. So g of x, as we as you already noted, it's going to have the same slope, so I'm going to go ahead and write 2x here. However, from our knowledge of the equation of a line, we find that this does cross the y-axis down here. We don't know for sure, I mean, I mean, we could just look at the graph and count the boxes to find out where it crosses at. However, we're going to use algebra to figure this out. So one thing we do know about this line is, is we know its slope, that's kind of given, but we also know a point where it crosses, or like we know a point on this line, and that is this point right here. This point is 3 comma 0. So when x is 3, y equals 0. Or in this case, y is, is kind of being represented by g of x. So I'm going to turn this g of x kind of quickly into a general equation of a line. I'm going to put plus b here, and we're going to solve for b. So we know that g of x is 0 when x is 3. So I'm going to put 2 times 3 here plus b. And so using algebra, we know that 2 times 3 is 6. And if we subtract 6 from both sides, we will get that b is equal to negative 6. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this plus b and replace it with what we just solved for. I'm gonna, if I can find where my uh, cursor is at, that would be pretty amazing. Okay, 
2x minus 6. Here we go. So this is our equation for g of x. 2x minus 6. But this, as we noted earlier, kind of looks more like a vertical transformation. We shifted it 6 units down instead of a horizontal transformation. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try to make this not look so much like we're like just adding or subtracting a number directly to our original equation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a 2 from both of these. And so we get 2 times x minus 3. And we kind of look back to what we were trying to do in the first place and we think, yeah, 3 units. Yeah, 3 units is what we're going to try to move to the right. But we also note that instead of plus, this is now minus. It's a minus 3, but we moved it to the right in the positive x direction. So that's kind of the trick to um, horizontal transformations, is that when you want to move something in the positive x direction, you actually have to subtract the amount of units you want to move it directly from x, not just to the entire equation itself. You have to, you have to subtract some number from x itself. So, 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 all right, so Jacob, what are you trying to say here? Okay, so here's what I'm saying. Let's go pick my black, the black ink again. So we had an original function f of x, but now g of x looks more like f of x minus 3, doesn't it? We note that f that the g of x is f is is the same function of f, but instead of x is x minus three. So, in general, if you have a function f of x, and I'm going to go ahead and erase the parentheses and and put in the general thing I was trying to go for here. So f of x minus some number shifts f of x n amount of units to the right while some function of x plus this n num this number n shifts this function of x n units to the left. If I can spell, that'd be great. So, yes, in general, uh, any function or any equation, all you have to do to shift it to the left or to the right is either add or subtract a certain amount, a certain number, the, the amount of units you want to shift it directly to x, not to the entire function. Because if you, because there will be a difference here. So in, in our previous example, we had f of x equals 2x. And if we wanted to shift it up 3, we wanted to add a 3 here. On the other hand, and I probably shouldn't be calling these f of x, but I think you get the point. f of x... You know what? Hold on. I can correct this. Hold on a second, guys. I got this. Okay. Draw. Okay. Yes. So we have f of x listed up here, conveniently there. So f of x plus 3 equals 2x plus 3, while on the other hand, f of x minus 3 equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3. And we'll note that these are not the same, because if you distribute this 2 through this quantity here, we end up with 2x minus 6, which is certainly not the same as 2x plus 3. So, the difference being that if you want to shift something horizontally, you add it directly to x, you know, like you put parentheses around x, but then in the parentheses you add or subtract some number to it. 
while to shift uh, horizontal or to shift vertically you put parentheses around the entire equation or the entire function and then you add or subtract a certain number to it. So that does it for horizontal shifts and contrasting it with vertical shifting. So in the next video we will learn how to reflect uh, functions across the x and y axes. So until then, I will see you next time.